Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. In today's lecture of classical mechanics, we will discuss about impact parameter. So, here we will discuss about impact parameter. Now, first of all, postulates or assumptions which we used in deriving the formula of impact parameter. First one is nucleus and alpha particle having point size or their size is negligible. Nucleus is very heavy in comparison to alpha particle and it remains stationary during the mutual reaction between the nucleus and alpha particle. Third one, whole positive charge of an atom are placed in its center and this center is known as nuclear. A scattering is only due to mutual reaction between the alpha particle and the nucleus. Also, the effect of electrons on this scattering is negligible. Now, in this diagram, nucleus is at point M and alpha particle is moving in this direction. As alpha particle moving towards nucleus, the repulsion between these two occurs. So, as it moves towards nucleus, the repulsive force between alpha particle and nucleus starts increasing. So, it move in this direction, not exactly in this direction. So, this is the direction before collision and this is the direction after collision. Let an alpha particle be moving initially along PO with initial velocity V. So, initially alpha particle moving in this direction with initial velocity V after scattering from the nucleus M, it follow the path P A P dash. So, after scattering from this nucleus, alpha particle follow the path P A P dash. So, this is the path of alpha particle. Therefore, P A P dash will be hyperbolic orbit and P O and P dash O will be the asymptotes of hyperbolic orbit of alpha particle. So, this is our hyperbolic path and these dotted line showing the asymptotes of hyperbolic orbit of alpha particle. It means when alpha particle is very far from nucleus, then P O and P dash O are its initial and final directions respectively. So, P O is the initial direction and P dash O will be the final direction when alpha particle is very far from nucleus because in this case there will be no force of repulsion between nucleus and alpha particle. Now, impact parameter. So, what is impact parameter? It is the minimum distance to which the alpha particle would approach the nucleus if there were no force between them. So, this is our impact parameter and here impact parameter is represented by B. So, what is impact parameter? It is the minimum distance to which the alpha particle would approach the nucleus if there were no force between them. So, if there is no force of repulsion or attraction between the alpha particle and nucleus then the minimum distance up to which the alpha particle reaches to the nucleus is our impact parameter. So when there is no mutual reaction then alpha particle follow this path and in this case this will be the minimum distance and this distance is represented by B here and this B is our impact parameter. Since alpha particle and nucleus both have charge, hence the Coulomb force will be 
effective between them. So alpha particle is also positive charge and nucleus is also positive charge. So both have charge and in this case Coulomb force will be effective between these two. Due to this force the alpha particle be scattered by an angle theta. So this is our scattering angle because alpha particle and nucleus both have charge and in this case Coulomb force that is F equal to K Q1 Q2 upon R square is effective between these two. So in this case alpha particle is scattered by this angle. Here M represents the focus of hyperbola. So this is our hyperbolic orbit and M is the focus of this hyperbola. Now a scattering angle theta. It is the angle between the asymptotic direction of approach of the alpha particle and the asymptotic direction in which it recedes. So this is the direction of alpha particle before collision and this is the direction of alpha particle after collision. If there is no mutual reaction between them. So this is our asymptotic direction of approach of alpha particle and this is the asymptotic direction in which alpha particle recedes. So the angle between these two asymptotic direction means this angle theta is our scattering angle. When alpha particle is at rest then from the law of conservation of angular momentum around M. So when alpha particle is at point A then from the law of conservation of angular momentum around M. Now what is the law of conservation of angular momentum? The total angular momentum before collision is equal to the total angular momentum after collision. And angular momentum is MVR. MVB is the total angular momentum before collision. M is mass of alpha particle. V is the initial velocity of alpha particle. And B is impact parameter. Now after collision, total angular momentum is m v dash m a. m is the mass of alpha particle, v dash is the velocity of alpha particle after collision and m a is the distance after collision. So this is the distance of alpha particle from m after collision and this is the distance of alpha particle before collision. So b is the minimum distance before collision and M A is the minimum distance after collision. Now here M and M will be cancel out. So V B equal to V dash M A. So V B equal to V dash X. Here V and V dash B the initial and final velocities of alpha particle at A. from the law of conservation of energy at A. So from the law of conservation of energy total energy before collision is equal to total energy after collision and total energy before collision is kinetic energy and after collision some part of kinetic energy converted into potential energy. So kinetic energy of alpha particle at A that is total energy before collision is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy of alpha particle at A after collision because before collision total energy at A is kinetic energy and after collision some part of kinetic energy converted into potential energy. So after collision total energy will be kinetic energy plus potential energy. Now at A kinetic energy before collision is half mv square because before collision the velocity of alpha particle is v and after collision the kinetic energy of alpha particle at A is half mv dash square because after collision the velocity of alpha particle is v dash. Now if we consider about potential energy then potential energy is u equal to k q1 q2 upon x and in CGS unit K equal to 1 and Q1 is Z1E which is the charge of nucleus 
and q2 is z to e and this is charge of alpha particle so q1 is replaced with z1 e q2 with z2 e and the distance between alpha particle and nucleus after collision is x means this one and k is 1 because here we are using cgs unit so potential energy at a after collision will be z1 z2 e square upon x or half m v dash square equal to half m v square minus z1 z2 e square upon x on taking half m v square common here in bracket we get 1 minus twice z1 z2 e square upon m v square into x now half half and m and m will be cancelled out so v dash square equal to v square and in bracket 1 minus twice z1 z2 e square upon m v square x so this is our v dash square and v b equal to v dash x from here v dash is equal to v b upon x now this v dash is replaced with v b upon x so this equation will be v square b square upon x square is equal to v square and in bracket 1 minus twice z1 z2 e square upon mv square x now v square and v square will be cancelled out so b square equal to x square and in bracket 1 minus twice z1 z2 e square upon mv square x or here we have x square so 1x will be here and 1x we multiplied inside so this is multiplied with x and this is also with x so x and x will be cancelled out so b square equal to x and in bracket x minus twice z1 z2 e square upon m v square from the geometry of hyperbola this is our geometry so x equal to m a and what is m a m o plus o a so m a is our x and m a equal to m o plus o a and o a is a small a so x equal to m o plus a now what is m o if we take this triangle then this is also a now in triangle m o and this point sec phi is equal to sec is reciprocal of cos and cos equal to base upon hypotenuse so sec phi is hypotenuse upon base and what is hypotenuse here hypotenuse is m o so sec phi equal to m o upon a or m o equal to a sec phi so m o equal to a sec phi now we replace this m o with a sec phi so x equal to a plus a sec phi or a into 1 plus sec phi so x equal to a into 1 plus sec phi now we again take this triangle so what is cosec phi cosec phi is a reciprocal of sin phi and sin phi is perpendicular upon the hypotenuse so cosec phi is hypotenuse upon perpendicular and hypotenuse is m o and perpendicular is b so m o equal to b cosec phi so m o equal to b cosec phi now m o equal to a sec phi and m o equal to b cosec phi so if we equate these two equations then a sec phi equal to b cosec phi or a upon cos phi equal to b upon sin phi because cosec equal to 1 upon sin and sec equal to 1 upon cos so we get this relation and from here a equal to cos phi upon sin phi into b so a equal to b cot phi now x equal to a into 1 plus sec phi and also a equal to b cot phi so we replace this a by b cot phi so x equal to b cot phi and in bracket 1 plus sec phi this cot is equal to cos upon sin so x equal to b cos phi upon sin phi and in bracket 1 plus 1 upon cos phi so we replace this sec phi by 1 upon cos phi 
Now we take cos phi LCM here. So here 1 plus cos phi upon cos phi and cos phi and cos phi will be cancelled out. So x equal to b into 1 plus cos phi upon sin phi. Now what is 1 plus cos phi? 1 plus cos phi is twice cos square phi by 2. And what is sin phi? Sin phi is twice sin phi by 2 cos phi by 2. Now 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. And cos phi by 2 and cos phi by 2 is cancelled out. So x equal to b cos phi by 2 upon sin phi by 2. And cos phi by 2 upon sin phi by 2 is cot phi by 2. So x equal to b cot phi by 2. Since b square equal to x into x minus twice z1 z2 e square upon mv square and x is b cot phi by 2. So we replace this x and also this x by b cot phi by 2. So b square equal to b cot phi by 2 and in bracket b cot phi by 2 minus twice z1 z2 e square upon mv square. Let twice z1 z2 e square upon mv square is k. So we replace this with k and 1 b and 1 b will be cancelled out. So b equal to cot phi by 2 and in bracket b cot phi by 2 minus k or b equal to b cot square phi by 2 minus k cot phi by 2. Now we already got this equation and from here k cot phi by 2 equal to b cot square phi by 2 minus b and if we take b common here then in bracket cot square phi by 2 minus 1. And this cot phi by 2 is replaced with cos phi by 2 upon sin phi by 2 and this cot again with cos phi by 2 upon sin phi by 2. So k cos phi by 2 upon sin phi by 2 equal to b cos square phi by 2 upon sin square phi by 2 minus 1. Now if we take sin square phi by 2 LCM here then b into cos square phi by 2 minus sin square phi by 2 upon sin square phi by 2. Now 1 sin phi by 2 and 1 sin phi by 2 will be cancelled out. So k cos phi by 2 equal to b cos square phi by 2 minus sin square phi by 2 upon sin phi by 2. Since cos square phi by 2 minus sin square phi by 2 is cos phi and this cos phi by 2 transfer here. So k equal to b cos phi divided by sin phi by 2 cos phi by 2. Now we multiply and divide with 2. So this twice sin phi by 2 cos phi by 2 will be sin phi. So k equal to 2b cos phi upon sin phi and cos phi upon sin phi is cot phi. So k equal to 2b cot phi. From the geometry of figure, this is our geometry phi plus theta by 2 equal to pi by 2. So this is phi. This is theta. It means this is theta by 2. So phi plus theta by 2 equal to pi by 2. So phi equal to pi by 2 minus theta by 2. And k equal to 2b cot phi. So we replace this phi by pi by 2 minus theta by 2. So k equal to 2b cot pi by 2 minus theta by 2. And cot pi by 2 minus theta by 2 is 10 theta by 2. So k equal to 2b 10 theta by 2. So k equal to 2b 10 theta by 2. Or 2b upon k equal to cot theta by 2. Thus impact parameter decreases with increasing the value of theta. So as we increase the value of theta, impact parameter decreases. The value of scattering angle theta depends on the impact parameter B, the number of molecules in unit volume of target nuclei and also on the thickness of target. So this is the calculation of impact parameter. So here we end our session. In today's session we have discussed about impact parameter. So goodbye.